Hello everyone, I hope you are well. So today I wanted to share with you a piece that I created as part of the Gratitude Art Challenge which I did for 20 days in November. So the Gratitude Art Challenge was essentially my way of taking some time out to create art to express my gratitude for many different things in my life. Simple things um, such as showers, cake, um, friendship, God, things of that nature. And this one in particular was to show my gratitude for language. Now at first, I actually thought I was going to make a piece about language in the Bible because I've always thought that the language in the Bible is really rich and I thought that would be a perfect thing to make a piece of art about. However, um, at the beginning of November, the first Thursday in November, I tuned into a talk by Sisterhood France over on Instagram. Um, they have talks every single first Thursday of the month. Um, the one in November was their second one and it was really, really good. So Camille White was the one that led the discussion and the topic that she chose was the idea of cultivating the soil of your heart. Now the first time she said that I thought, hmm, this is interesting. I've never really thought about cultivating the soil of my heart. Um, but as she went on, it became really really apparent that this was actually a very useful uh, idea, a useful piece of encouragement for everyone regardless of their religious beliefs, whether you believe in God or not. Um, I think it will encourage you and I hope it does. Now let's say your heart is figuratively covered in weeds. Now this could mean many different things and this could look a number of different ways. Weeds in your life could be unforgiveness, it could be that just the general stresses of the world that you've decided to take all onto your shoulders, it could be small things that are bothering you, it could be big things that are bothering you. Whatever it is, all these things amount to weeds on the soil of your heart. With that in mind and with all of those things essentially grasping a hold of your day to day, 2020 and this season is an opportunity for you to look inwards and to start to pull off those weeds, to pull off those um, weights to pull off and remove and it's a time to forgive, it's a time to move past things, it's just a time in general to make sure that you as a person, that your spirit, that your soul, that your body, that your heart, that you in general are at the best place that you can be and that your heart is appropriately and effectively cultivated and prepared. If we think about gardens again, the amount of care and attention and love that a garden and plants and grass require in order to continue thriving is absolutely insane. And I think that's almost the beauty of um, the idea in the Bible that is presented to us as um, of God being a gardener, the fact that he takes that care and he gives that love and um, he offers complete and utter attention. But in terms of us, we ourselves need to cultivate and look after and ensure that we are well fed, well nourished um, and that we take the time to take care of us. But yeah, take it, take 
2020 as a time for more self-care. Take it as an opportunity to breathe, to relax, to find joy in the small things and to just make sure that your eyes are fixed forward and not on things that you can't change. <laughs>